Hello Electroheads. In case you hadn't noticed, EVs are pretty much the hottest thing right now. Are you sure? Okay, maybe I'm a little bit biased. It's not just electric cars though, but just about anything that you can cram an electric motor and battery into. The constant advancements in technology have opened the door to some awesome new kit that simply wouldn't have been possible even a few years ago. How would you like to ditch your car for a Star Wars pod racer-esque single-seater aircraft that can take off and land vertically? Rubbish. Or maybe an eco-friendly taxi wrapped in solar panels that looks like a giant football. <laughs> it all sounds a bit out there, but these are just some of the super cool EV powered vehicles that could make it to the market in 2022. First up, we've got something alternative, all right? The Electra Mechanica Solo EV. It's a teensy three-wheeler single-seater, which looks like a guillotine's had its way with it. From the front, it just looks like any normal car, but walk around to the side and hey oh, did not expect that, did we? Not even a little bit. Kind of resembles the back end of a plug or the front end of a two-man horse costume waiting for his mate to show up. You be the judge. Anyway, this moving tripod is the product from a Vancouver manufacturer, Electromechanica, who've got a few EVs available, but the Solo is by far the most curious of the lot. And really, it's designed to provide a solution to the fact that around 80% of commuter journeys in cities are completed alone. So in terms of its purpose and what it's trying to do for the world, we're all here for it. Yes, it's fun, it will turn heads and get you a lot of attention on the road, but also there are a few drawbacks as well. For one, it sits you very low to the ground, which isn't for everybody. In fact, most cars these days have moved towards the opposite. I'm thinking about all those high ride SUVs on the market right now, right? And then there's the price point. It's, it's simply not cheap for what it is. It costs around $20,000 or just under. <laughs> it's not funny! Nonetheless, it looks comfy, kind of practical with space for a few bags, and it features all the more cons and creature comforts you'd get in a normal sized car, like radio, Bluetooth, aircon. It's all there. It's just packed into this tiny, admittedly curious looking ride. Another plus, it has decent range. It will go for around 100 miles, which is perfectly adequate for a small city runaround. Remember, the average car journey in the UK is around eight miles. But that's not it. Despite it having a 0 to 60 in a sluggish 11 seconds, it reaches a top speed of 80 miles per hour. That's insane. That's insane. Imagine bombing it down the motorway in this thing. You'd cause crashes from the amount of disruption and attention. You'd just be taking everyone's views away from the road. Don't do that. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Drop a comment down below. And Electromechanica, if you are watching, I want to test drive this immediately. <laughs> EV number two could quite possibly be the coolest mode of transport ever. If like me, you have been waiting with endless patience for those flying cars we've all seen countless times in the movies, then the Jetson 1 is about as close as it gets to making this a reality. It may not have wheels, but it ticks just about every other box. Jetson Aero is a Swedish company that was founded in 2017 with the tagline, we intend to make everyone a pilot. They weren't talking about providing flying lessons for the masses, but rather this, the Jetson 1 personal electric aerial vehicle. And what a thing it is. I want it and so will you once you see what it's capable of. The Jetson 1 is essentially a single-seater drone that can fly, hover and land just about anywhere that there's a flat surface. And since it's a drone and not a fully fledged aeroplane, you don't need a pilot's license to fly one. Oh, the tagline is really starting to make sense now. The proof of concept prototype was finished back in 2018 and now Jetson is offering the finished product to the public. Yes, you can try this thing. I'm the king of the world! This high tech was never going to be cheap though. So you may need to check the back of the couch for that 70,000 pounds you need. Oh, off. If you have the cash, a Jetson 1 could be parked in your driveway next autumn. Obviously though, you can't fly this thing to your local Tesco's for a pint of milk, but you know, there's room for possibilities. Okay. But what does that 70K get you? Well, the Jetson 1 comes with 88 kilowatts of power, courtesy of eight electric motors and a lightweight carbon fiber and aluminum frame, weighing just 86 kilograms. However, the maximum pilot weight is 95 kg, so this isn't for the heavy people. The battery capacity hasn't yet been revealed, but Jetson claims you can get up to a uh, measly 20 minutes of flight time on a single charge, but it can travel up to 63 miles per hour with a maximum height of 1,500 feet. 1,500 feet, that's the same height as Central Park Tower. Oh, but it does come 
50% assembled, so you better be handy with a spanner. Even so, imagine just rocking up to your mate's party in your own flying drone. Just make sure you're less than 20 minutes away from your destination, otherwise you may need to deploy the built-in parachute. Either way, what an entrance. Number three on our list is a bit out there, but so worth a look. The Future E is a super stylish tender to that luxury super yacht we all wish we had. It was created by Italian design studio, Centra Stile Design. God, they just ooze Italian, don't they? By the looks of it, it will probably cost more than a nice flat in Chelsea. It's actually more a design study at the moment than an actual boat, but just look at this thing. We simply had to include it here. It's not merely a pretty rendering though. A lot of thought has gone into how it could be built with the aim to make it a completely zero emissions vehicle built solely from recycled and environmentally sustainable materials. Captain Planet, motherfucker. The design features twin electric motors with four foils that extend out to let the Future E lift out of the water and reach top speeds of up to 30 knots, which is pretty fast out on the water. Yes, foils are nothing new, but incorporating them in a boat this small is pretty impressive. The supercar inspired design may have a strong focus on speed and agility, but the Future E also has a complex kinematic suspension system like that of a Formula One race car. This allows it to offer a comfortable ride for you and your three passengers as you head out to shore for some champagne and caviar or whatever it is that super yacht owners do. I'm gonna have Heidi lick some caviar off my in the meantime. Then when it's time to pack the future E away, the foils act as cradles to protect it while it sits on the deck of the yacht you definitely own. Right, let's head back from La La Land now and into the real world. But seriously though, if you want to invite me and the team to your super yacht, please do get in touch. Fourth in line, we have the VO Voxy. Remember those cool glass spheres from Jurassic World? Well, the VO vehicles design team sure do because the VO Voxy Solar Taxi looks just like it, only this time you will be able to observe a different kind of dinosaur going into extinction, the ICE car. <laughs> VO Vehicles is a British company founded by Marianne Bailey. Now, I had the pleasure of doing a talk with Marianne at a COP26 panel discussing the future of sustainable travel, and she talks a lot of sense. She's painfully smart and ready to reinvent how we move through our streets. From the outset, Marianne envisioned the VO Voxy to be a lightweight, sustainable taxi to take on London's pollutive, congested traffic. Just like an e-bike, it uses electric power with pedal assist to get around, which means technically it's allowed to go into the bike lanes. That is a very smart way to avoid inner city gridlock. Currently, the VO Voxy won't be available for the Uber XL option though, as it seats just two, but it has enough space for a large suitcase in the boot and two smaller suitcases beneath the seats. The mileage on this is also pretty decent it can do 100 miles on battery power alone, which extends to 140 miles if the solar roof panels see some kind of sunlight. The Vero Voxy is a product of years of hard work and R&D. The working prototype was started in 2018, but the concept idea for the Vero Voxy has actually been around since 2011. It just took this long for the technology to get to a point where it became viable to build. Marianne's a visionary. She's a genius. The plan going forward is to get an investor to commit to buying a fleet, which will allow VO vehicles to further develop the platform. All being well, the plan is to morph her taxi from Pedelec into a pure EV, then make it fully autonomous, then introduce a four-seater version. Watch this space, guys. <laughs> Next up, it's the cutest quadricycle you ever did see. My French fancy, the Citroen Emmy. Last year, when it was a fresh delivery from France, I got to take one for a spin and I instantly fell in love with this thing. It was all a bit up in the air whether or not it would actually come to market here in the UK, but I can now happily declare it has been confirmed. <laughs> Imagine the British regulators looking at the AMI and just kind of like scratching their heads, not really knowing what to do with it. Are we okay with this? Aren't we? Let's be honest. It looks like some kind of Sylvalian family's car. They're the same picture. And the fact that French 14 year olds can actually drive this thing around in their hometowns probably all just felt a bit très confusant. I am French. But this is the beauty of the EV scape. We've got to start opening our minds, people. Yes, it looks a bit silly next to a fat off SUV, but doesn't a fat off SUV look a bit silly being used by one person driving through the city? Perspective. 
if you're not so au fait with the Ami, it's a two-seater city runaround, which is surprisingly spacious inside. It maxes at 28 miles per hour. Remember, most roads in London now are limited to 20 miles per hour and can cover 46 miles on a single charge. To charge it back up again, you plug the Ami in with a three-pin plug and three hours later, you're back up to 100%. Along with the passenger seater version, we'll also be seeing a cargo option for those local urbanite deliveries. The cargo compartment has an impressive capacity of 260 litres, which is around the same literage as the boot of the Toyota Yaris, and it can carry up to 140 kilograms. Add on a few storage bins and that rockets up to 400 litres. I told you it's spacious inside. The build is quite plasticky with some tinny acoustics, but to be honest, for a price tag in its home market of France being around 6,490 euros, these are easier to be overlooked. In fact, more than 14,000 UK customers have registered an interest for the passenger version of the AMI, with 1,400 of them having placed a £250 refundable deposit to reserve one. And don't worry, this does not mean that there's gonna be a whole load of 14-year-olds running riot in AMIs. It's going to be introduced for over 17s with a license here in the UK. If you wanna check out my full review of the AMI, hit the link above. So there you have it. That's a wrap on our awesome alternative EVs. Now. I wanna hear from you guys at home. Drop me a comment down below and let me know which of those five is your favorite. Are any of them of any interest to you guys? Would you go out and buy one? Have you bought one? Let me know. And if I haven't listed one that you already know about, then drop it down there as well. I love to read it. I love to hear from you guys. Please do make sure to give us a big fat thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel where you just get way more content just like this weekly. All right guys, thank you for watching. Take care.